Amazon returns through FBA is somewhat of a quagmire over the years. Well, Amazon has a new report we'll demo for you today to show you how to better track and keep tabs of those returns. My name is Stephen Pope, and I am my Amazon guy. So on the screen here, I have a new FBA manage returns page here. You can see up in the top right, it says new. And uh, in here, you can see the customer return reason. Technically speaking, this data that we're looking on screen is not new data, but it's much more palatable. It's a new UI. It's easier to understand in this format. Previously, you had to go pull a really random report to get this info and basically put it into an Excel sheet and try and dissect it. Now it allows you to filter and manage this right here in the portal. Uh, we'll put a link to how to access this in the video description to help you out, but basically it's sellercentral.amazon.com slash FBA hyphen returns, or return rather. And uh, in here you can see each individual reason, the reason for the customer return, so product damage or defective prior to shipping. Uh, a couple of these are blank on my screen, so we don't know the details, but, but you can see on the right, return started. Uh, unknown reason, accidentally ordered the wrong item. Now, mind you, uh, when a consumer selects these return reasons, nine out of 10 times, they're gonna give a BS reason uh, just to get free returns. And it's kind of a crappy way the system works. And by the way, if you don't know this, you do pay for the fulfillment fee to get it out, get the item out to the consumer. You are not reimbursed for that when an Amazon customer issues a return. So if you have a high return rate, you're gonna be paying a lot of fees. It could be harmful to your margins. And so you may have to look at increasing your prices to bear that market. For the most part though, returns aren't a deal breaker within the Amazon ecosystem. Um, if you do have a really bad issue with your item, you're gonna see a lot of common returns and definitely need to check that out. Um, but unwanted item, accidentally ordered, uh, items defective or damaged, those are all the typical reasons why you can see uh, an item is damaged. There is really nothing you can do about these returns. You can view the details and look at information and try and figure out what's going on with it. Um, and you can look at all kinds of uh, information about where the item is and its status. M many corporations who have uh, good inventory control and tracking are very frustrated by Amazon's ecosystem, suffice it to say. Most private labelers just ignore this and move on and think of it as a cost of doing business. Um, but what happens when a return happens? One of two things happens. It either checks the item back into your inventory within FBA at Amazon as if the item had never left. And the second thing that happens is if the item returns in a, in a condition that cannot be resold, Amazon will put it into your unfulfillables. Unfulfillables are then put over uh, into another area within Solar Central, and you can track those. I have mine automated to ship those out once a week to my warehouse, and I find that to be a, the most cost-effective way to do that. I did shoot a video a couple weeks back talking about fee changes. They recently changed the ability um, to destroy units and to remove them. Uh, previously, you destroyed a unit for 10 cents, removed it for 50 cents, this is standard size. And now the cost to remove a standard size is, is weighted based on size and weight. And it's, it's no longer a cost difference between destroy and remove. It's now the same cost to destroy an item as it is to remove it. So uh, you might as well remove them in my opinion because of that, because some of them will be resellable. These returns will be recoverable, um, even if they are quote unquote unfulfillable on Amazon standards. Once you return those to your warehouse and double check them, chances are they will be reusable to some extent. I have um, dozens of items that return that I end up shipping right back into Amazon and selling. In other issues though, I'll get like a wine glass back and it's got um, uh, a mismark mark you know, on it, a misprint if you will. And those of course I wouldn't wanna resell. And so I end up uh, uh, just putting those in my own, uh, my own glass closet if you will and using them to drink myself. Um, another way that a lot of businesses do their uh, unfulfillables or returns is to just gift them out and call them open boxes. Alternatively, if you got a lot of them and it's kind of a scalable problem, go over to eBay and sell open boxes on eBay. You can still get a pretty good premium for them over there. All right, so that's my video on uh, the F Manage FBA return report. Uh, if you have any questions about how to do something in Amazon Seller Central, leave a comment on this video. We'll, we'll investigate it for you and shoot a video and discuss it. 
Um, lastly, you can get Amazon Consulting from me personally by booking a coaching call today uh, for $125. Go over to myamazonguy.com, click on book a coaching call, and you can see my available schedule here. So I hope you check us out and thanks for watching and uh, stay safe with COVID-19 going on right now.